this is Kelly from Rue Pursuit and today I've got these tiny little safety pins and I thought it might be fun to make something out of them. So there are maybe some dangles, some charms and uh, I noticed that I have, this is like the container that I got today of these and I noticed that the, it, there, there were three colors, there was only one silver one but some of them were this bright gold and then some were this almost like brassy finish, which you can see compared to the gold. So I thought I do have, I'm going to be making these with, these are like jewelry pins and I'll just show you what they are, and what they look like. Hold on one. Uh, this is what they look like, and I also have some brass ones as well. If you don't have these, you can just make these with wire. So as long as you have wire and one of these little little tools to wrap the wire into a circular shape, then it will work. I'm going to just start out by taking uh, one of these bright gold ones, add beads to it, um, buttons. So maybe we'll do, I've got my, my tiny buttons still sitting out here. And actually these buttons are here. So let me just try a button right off the bat. And maybe, yeah, let's, let's try some beads. Got these wooden beads. Pop some of them in here so we can see them. There's that. And then I've got this other kind that's got like, it almost looks like it's twine wrapped around it, but very miniature twine. So I'm going to load that on here. And I think just those two pieces would probably be enough. So we'll keep it simple the first time because I'm not entirely sure how much room left on this here that I'm going to need to do the wrap. So, so I'm going to put that uh, pin right through that hole in the bottom of the safety pin. And then I'm going to take these pliers. And just wrap it around. So I've got extra here, so I'm gonna wrap it around a couple times. So I definitely could have used a lot more of that space, so that's good to know. But so far we've got let's make sure this works. It dangles. So right now it's kind of dangling like this. So let me just try to get it so you can see it. So if I were to attach it to a piece of fabric or a tab on the side, maybe to a, with an eyelet, then this would just kind of hang out the side. So that's pretty cute so far. But I also still have this little circular part where I can add a charm. I could add maybe even a piece of ribbon, possibly. I have some of this kind of yarn. this up. No, oh, wow, this is like totally weaved together. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, really don't need that to be too long then. So I'm just going to leave it weaved there and then try to fish, fish my end of my yarn through that little ring hole. Got her through, and now I'll just tie it on. So now, to hang off like so. So that's one. I'd like to try one. So let me find one of those brass ones. We'll do a brass. So this is a brass. 
and got this little jar. These, I'll go ahead and show those. Pant. And now, to load this up, I'm gonna do these beads. I'm gonna do a square circle. I really like the square ones, but the square ones look better when they're contrasted with the round ones. So, all right, so I'm gonna have it about this long and take my safety pin, put her on there, and then twist her around. I'll break some off either way. No, don't break any off. <laughs> so far, that's what I have. That little hole. Okay. Okay, so now this time I've actually put it through the hole instead of below the hole. So that makes more sense. Okay, so. Now, I could leave it like this. Oh my, that's coming right out the bottom. Hold on. So this, uh, so at the bottom, is actually going right through this bead hole. This one is. So I'm gonna need to attach something to the bottom so that that doesn't come out. I could do some lace through there, or I could do a charm. And since I wanted to do a charm anyway, one of these, uh, this is my big container of charms, and this one is gold, and I think these are the ones that are like a little bit more brassy. Have ones in there have brass. Let's see here. Got this little train one. That's kind of fun. So I'm just going to set down my piece that I've made so far and take this and this works better if you have two pairs of pliers and then you just kind of pull those apart so that you can slide one ring around the other. I've got these like surgery scissors. Let's see. And that did it really easily. So, two pairs of pliers or some kind of other tool you've got to grip one side. Now I can kind of bring that back together. So now I brought those two back together. I've got this charm. Really cute little dangle to hang on the side of a journal. Okay, since we're here, let's do silver. So set my safety pin down and I've got silver charms over in this direction. I wonder if I can somehow hang that as a dangle because that's super cool looking and it's silver so we'll just pull this one open now that we got this all figured out there we go Wait, is that the right color I don't think that's right. Okay, this is my silver one. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. And then, pull those together. And then, we could add some beads that would look good with silver. It's not... Terribly pretty, but 
works. Oh, I've got some nice metal ones in there, but they don't have to be metal. Oh, these are kind of fun beads. Maybe some more colorful ones. Oh, that's a pretty color. And this one. Those two. And then some metal spacers. I think I have some in here. Neat ones. I have no idea where that went. Okay, so see here I've got put the really pink one on first so there's how that looks so far and then I've got a heart I've got a flower I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this heart oh my does it even have a hole in it <laughs> on this end oh wow now we'll try it That worked. Okay, so now we have this so far. I don't think we need this this other one on there. I think that is plenty. I'm just gonna take my safety pin now, put it through there. Take my pliers and curl them just enough so I can get that safety pin in the loop. I have some other videos on uh, the junk jewelry lot that I bought a while back so I'll I'll put the link to those videos in the description below if you want to check out those videos that was very fun to buy one of those junk jewelry lots and this is this container of charms is kind of what it ended up being you know it's turning like earrings and necklace pendants and all kinds of stuff into charms so like this was part of a belt actually and this was part of a necklace and this is I don't know I think this was probably part of a actual bead kit so like a new bead kit so all right well that turned out cute very silvery so I think three charms are pretty good for now so these are the three that we've got going on. All different looks to them. I really like how the silver one turned out. That one's super cool. But this train one's pretty nice. Pretty nice too. All right. Well, I hope you found this helpful. And uh, thanks for coming along. And I'll talk to you later.